Vehicle users have many interests in cybersecurity and privacy, but what about the user's legal right to tinker with their own devices? I think that there's going to be lots of concerns with privacy. I mean, of course, the, the users are concerned with security, uh, but there's going to be a lot of data collection that people want to, in order to help bolster the security. So kind of where does that intersect with privacy? It's a very complicated landscape. And then if you want to lock down the vehicle, how, where does that leave the tinkerers? The people who want to play with their car, explore it, modify it. What, are, what recourse do they have? I think those are two interesting questions that uh, OEMs and users are going to have to work out in some way in the next few years. So I'm a big supporter of the right to tinker. I tinker with all the devices I own. I do think that it, it could be a complicated legal and liability battle someday. Um, and I think that we'll have to find some middle ground. I don't know where that will be. I mean, we have lots of small devices, Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, people tinker with all the time. That's not a car. It's nothing like a car. It doesn't drive down the highway at 70 miles an hour. But uh, I think that we people are going to want to tinker and we need to find a way to allow them to safely. So that means if I want to modify, you know, maybe I want to make my own air conditioning control system. Yeah, I want to rewrite that. It doesn't sound like a critical piece of the car, so should I be able to do that? Makes sense to me. If I want to play with my engine and change things that are, are more critical or braking, that's a, I should be able to do that. Now, whether or not I should be able to take that out on the road, I, I don't know. Probably not. It's, it's probably something that would be hard to do that with any certainty about what the legal stance would be.